Hello world, my name is Paul with the Backyard Hibachi. Today, we're gonna be doing Hibachi Tricks 101 Part 2. Let's get to it. If you guys remember in the last video, I taught you guys how to do the special spin and then the egg tricks as well and then also we did the, the pepper shakers so in this video i want to teach you some more tricks with the pepper shakers and then also the pepper mill and a few more tricks with the spatula and fork as well all right one key to a great show is to be able to use both hands uh, for your show while you're spinning or while you're tossing this other hand has to be also in motion so you want to incorporate your other hand into the mix as well a lot of people that I teach first time, whenever they do the windmill, you know, this this arm starts doing weird stuff, so I always tell them to just put it behind their back. This is the same with the, the, egg, the egg tricks as well. When you're doing the eggs, your hand might be doing something weird. So I always recommend to put it behind your back and then just do the, the egg toss or the, the spatula spin. So a pretty simple move that I wanna show you is the this right here, uh, let's call it the fork spin. So along with the spatula spin, there's a fork spin. And I'm gonna show you up close how to do this. This is actually very simple. Uh, a lot of chefs do the, the pencil thing, the where you kind of flip it with the, the pencil. I don't know how to do it, but uh, this, this is my, this is my, one of my go-to moves right here. So to accomplish this move, you're first gonna take your grip, like so. And then the second move, is like so uh, it kind of happens quickly but to slow it down all it is is you're lifting these two fingers and then you're using the momentum from your middle finger to carry it over so it'll be like this so you'll end up like this and then you're gonna take that momentum flip the spatula around and then end it'll look a lot it'll look a lot smoother uh, once you do it fast so it's here and then you're gonna flip over like this. So from here, you just turn your hand over and then carry, carry that momentum. Give this move a try at home. It's actually very simple once you get the hang of it. If you worry about poking yourself with the prongs, uh, just go ahead and wrap them with saran, saran wrap. That way you won't uh, poke yourself with the prongs. So it'll look like this. And slow is this over so your hands are getting out of the way and then over like so all right now that you have the special spin and also this fork so now it'll look a lot like this whenever you you're doing your show all right let's move on to the shakers uh in the last episode we did the the noise like this uh, this is common in a lot of hibachi restaurants. You'll hear this noise a lot uh, in the dining room. Once you have this done, you know, a lot of people will just put their shakers away. This is a simple move. Set it down on the spatula towards the, the end of the spatula, and you can do a flip like this. All right, for this flip, you want to be able to cradle your, your shaker with your spatula. So it's going to end up looking like this. So whenever you, you are flipping, you want to be able to cradle it. It's just one one flip. It'll make it a lot easier for you to catch. And it doesn't matter if you mess up. Say if you land it on the the side like so, that doesn't matter. All right, and then from here, extend your hand out, turn your back to the can, reach with your other hand behind your back, and then throw it to your head. And that's all it is. All right, now that you have your sound down, your flip, and then catch. Go ahead and give that a try as well, guys. Uh, they're all very simple tricks, but if you, if you can land them and you can do them smoothly, you'll be out there impressing your friends. All right, now let's go ahead and incorporate the pepper meal. All right, what I want you to do uh, for this set of tricks is go ahead and pepper, pretend like you're peppering your, your ingredient, and then just take your grip and then do flip like this. And then even with the, what I showed you with the fork, you can also 
You can also incorporate that in as well. And then what you want, what I want you to do is turn this hand and then toss to your other hand. And from here to get it back to this hand, you're gonna do a backwards toss and then toss it back. So it's gonna go, look like this. All right, you're gonna be putting the pepper down. From here, you're just gonna grab one-handed. And this throw is not, it's not a, it's not a high throw. This throw is more of a flick and you're moving your hands out of the way like this. Backwards toss, backwards toss, you wanna move your hand down to the bottom. This finger right here is used for leverage to get it to go backwards, like so. And then go ahead and toss your other hand. All right, so now let's go ahead and put some of these tricks together. So you have your pepper shaker and you're making noise. Boom, back, put it back. And then you're putting pepper onto your grill. Like so. And then you put them back. And even while you're cooking, you can also do this, do this move while you're cooking. It's a pretty versatile move because you do it at any time and you don't have to worry about uh, sauces or anything like that spilling onto your guests or around the grill because it's not going to hold a lot of juices. Uh, with the spatula though, if you start spinning the spatula uh, mid-cook, uh, some of the rice, some of the sauces that are stuck onto the spatula, they could get out into the customer. So that's why sometimes when I'm cooking, I do feel like like I'll, I'll do this move quite a bit. I never try to do the spatula spin while I'm while I'm actively cooking. So I hope you found that video helpful, guys. If you notice my shirt, it says uh, Lonely Pans. Lonely Pans shirts are available uh, down in the description below. Uh, why Lonely Pans? Because we use our griddle so much, our pants are getting lonely. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.